what is going on YouTube? It is Willie Weasel here. And today we got this 2021 Kellex 140RL. There is somebody shooting a gun, target practice in the background. So if you hear a little bit of uh, loud sounds, I do apologize for that. But today we are doing a Willie tutorial on this Kellex 140. This tutorial is universal, so it does work for any bike or any four-wheeler. I've learned this through years of experience. I've been riding since I was four. I'm 21 now. So I'd say I have a little bit of experience. This has been a tried and true method for me and my buddy Jonathan. We have went through like a little bit of a, you know, years of practice trying these little tricks and these little techniques. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So I have a little notebook here with my three little do's and three little don'ts in it that, uh, you know, is basically, you know, kind of uh, just the basics of how to willy and just, you know, let you get the gist of it. Okay, so let's get into the three do's first. Rule number one, you need to learn your body position on your dirt bike or your four-wheeler. You don't want to be seated right up here on the gas tank or right back here on the rear fender because trust me if you're back here on the rear fender and you got a little bit of power on a bike and you have no throttle control or no brake control you will end up on the ground if you're up here on the front of you know your seat on the gas tank and you pop it up if you get it up your balance point is going to be a little out of whack so it's going to be really hard to control when you're stationed like right up here on the gas tank it's going to be a little more finicky once you get it far back but this right here is not the not the place to be you want to be kind of right in the bend of the seat my little rule of thumb I use is I use one about three fifths between your crotch and the tank. So look at that. It's about three fifths. One, two, three. That's that's plenty right there. That's enough to you know, jerk it up. You know, it's not too far back or not too close up to the tank so it won't throw me all over the place. Okay guys, we got rule number two. But anyway, rule number two is throttle control, clutch control, and brake control. You have to learn how to use your throttle, your brake, and your clutch, obviously, to ride wheelies. Now, this little method that I like to use that my buddy Jonathan kind of taught me is you want to do some slow, technical trail riding stuff that causes you to have to use the clutch, forces you to use the clutch, forces you to use the brake and the throttle in, like, tight little technical areas. You don't want to be wham, 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 wham on a wheelie when you don't have to be. You want to minimal effort you don't want to be applying maximum effort because maximum effort is when you get hurt with the clutch you don't want to dump the clutch real hard you don't want to and take off you want to slip the clutch just right to where you apply power and you take off on a wheelie we got rule number three balance point you have to learn the balance point and it is different on every vehicle whether it be a bike or a quad or even a side-by-side -side if you want to ride wheelies in a side-by-side, -side, which I'm not doing that. I, I'm never going to do that. But you have to learn your balance point, right? You want to throw that son of a gun back. You don't want to get it back here because that's not the balance point. That's that's on your back. That's going to hurt. And right here, you're going to be chasing it. You're going to chase a wheelie. You're going to end up picking up speed, running out of gears. There's like a little balance point to where you can feel it is smooth it feels nice you don't have to work hard you don't have to apply a lot of effort to stay on the wheelie that balance point is a smooth little area yo what's going on guys it's weasel here and i'm interrupting this video to bring to you the all exclusive willy weasel merch if you haven't checked it out we have a snazzy looking website here loaded with all kinds of goodies that will leave you looking lavish if you decide to support the channel and purchase some merch send a dm or tag me in a story post on instagram for a shout out the link to the merch and my instagram will be posted down in the description below and with that being said let's get back into the video all right guys daisy's wanting some attention but we gotta give some attention to you guys so sorry for interrupting the video with that little ad there if you want to the channel please be sure to buy some merch but now let's get into the three don'ts this is what you don't want to do and i have learned from experience trust me you don't want to do these things rule number one on don'ts this is what you don't want to do i've been there i've done this this is what you don't want to do i trust me i've learned my lesson you don't want to do power wheelies rule number one is power wheelies you never want to do power wheelies unless you're comfortable on the machine that you are riding power wheelies is how you get hurt two strokes for an example if you try to jerk it up right as soon as like right as soon as you hit the band when the band kicks in if you can't control that brake or that throttle you're going to end up on your back trust me i've been there i've done that it happens on four strokes too because they'll wah, you know it's like they don't want to hit the power next thing you know they hit the power boom you're hurt rule number two on the don'ts don't chase wheelies trust me chasing wheelies get you hurt here's a clip of me doing it on an xr650 
trust me, if you couldn't tell by the video, I was scared. I had to go home and dang near change my pants. <laughs> that scared me to death. Chasing wheelies will get you hurt. If you are chasing your wheelies through the gears or trying to, you know, chase it through the RPMs to keep the front tire up and picking up speed, that front tire is going to stop spinning eventually. And if you set it down like this or like this or even just slightly crooked, trust me, that's going to get a little wobbly and you're going to hurt. Ain't that right, Daisy? She's seen me do it right through here a time or two. She knows. Rule number three. Don't show off and stay within your limits. Right? Trust me, we've all been there. Don't show off. You will get hurt. If you're trying to push your limits in front of somebody and you're not in an area where you're comfortable on our machine that you're comfortable with, that is a recipe for disaster and embarrassment. Trust me, you will, you will get hurt. Well, guys, these videos are quite a bit different compared to the normal videos that I would normally do, just riding around, you know, hitting some trails, riding wheelies and stuff. So if you enjoyed this type of video, please be sure to drop a like on the video as it does help out the channel tremendously. Also, hit the subscribe button as that helps out the channel tremendously too. Let's go up this little hill right here. There's a nice little hill climb right here. Everybody seems to think this is small, but golly, son, this thing is straight up and down right there. But like I was saying, guys, this is the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to drop a like on the channel as it helps out the channel tremendously. Pop, you know, press the subscribe button because I do like popping these wheelies and riding it for you guys. And if you don't like missing that, smashing that subscribe button definitely helps out. But this has been the Willy Weasel. Peace out.